Hey everyone, I just want to make a quick video showing a fix for an exercise in the Web Developer Bootcamp 2022. There are some packages that are being used for a particular exercise and the newest versions of them have some breaking changes. So we're going to rework this uh, as soon as possible, but in the meantime, this is just a quick video showing you a potential solution. Sorry about the audio quality, I'm in a new office and I don't have all of my soundproofing set up. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, if I ls, we've got the files here. And if I look at this index.js, I've got Frank, Langs, and Colors. And then the input uh, is equal to process argv2. So that's something that you would get from the uh, command line whenever you run this uh, file here with the node command. And then basically it says language code, Frank is input. If language code is equal to UND, sorry, I couldn't figure it out, try more sample text. Otherwise, language is equal to langware, three lang code. And then it says our best guess is that this language is blah, blah, blah. Uh, so first we're gonna do an NPM install. And we're just gonna ignore the high severity because uh, that may be part of the fix, but we'll take a look at that in a second. All right, so let me make sure that I am running this properly. All right, so it looks like you do node index.js and then you just put some text, okay? So we'll do node index.js and then inside of a string with single quotes, we'll just do like, this is a test. All right, so right out of the gate we have a problem cannot read property name of undefined and I think an even larger problem is that uh, I just downloaded Colts code so I'm actually using if you look at the package JSON I'm using the versions from whenever he created the video so I think the error that most people run into are with the newer versions so we're actually gonna do an npm uninstall frank and npm uninstall langs and then an npm ilangs frank uh, which will uninstall the old versions and give us the new versions and it actually looks like we no longer have any more vulnerabilities so that's good. And if we take a look at the package JSON now these version numbers that were five and two are now six and it looks like Langs is still the same too. Okay, so now if we run node index.js, this is a test. Alrighty, so this is probably the error that you all have been running into and that is that for Frank, which is the one that got updated to version six, uh, it required, let's see here, require of ES module is not supported. And so basically, they're using the import syntax now. Uh, so if we go look at the documentation for Frank, so this is npm, we'll just jump straight over to the GitHub repository. And let's see here. So it says, this package is ESM only. That's like ECMAScript module or something like that. No 12 plus is needed to use it and it must be imported instead of required. Okay, great. So this installs the Frank package which supports blah, 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 blah. So this new syntax is import Frank, Frank all from Frank. <laughs> so there's a couple different solutions. I'm sure you've seen several in the Q and A. Um, Basically, first we're gonna check our node version. Okay, I'm using 16.6.0, which is 12 plus, that fits that criteria. And let's say we want to, to use the syntax that they're using. So we go back, open up our file here in the editor. And instead of doing frank is equal to require frank we'll do this import frank and then they have frank all we're not actually using frank all so if you wanted you could omit that uh it doesn't really matter so import that from frank we'll put a little semicolon at the end here for consistency and 
change these to double quotes. There's lots of inconsistencies here, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But now, when we run node index.js, some text. All right, so it says, warning, to load an ES module, set the type module in your package JSON or use the MJS extension or use node dash dash trace warnings to show where the warning was created. So uh, it's gonna actually show us right here where the warning was created. And then the error itself is cannot use import statement outside module. Okay, so basically they want us to open up the package JSON. So here we've got index.js, we've got node modules, we've got package JSON and package lock.json. Package JSON is the file that has information about our little NPM project here, and that includes the dependencies. And so if we run code package.json, that'll open it up here in VS Code for us. And we have name, version, description, main, scripts, author, license, and dependencies. So at the bottom here, after dependencies, we can put a comma, and we can plug in type module. Save that. Run it. Oh, the file's already open. Uh, what I want to do is run this command again node index.js some text. Okay, so now it's saying requires not defined in ES module scope. You can use import instead. This file is being treated as an ES module because it has a JS file extension and package.json contains the type module. To treat it as a common JS script, rename it to use a CJS file extension. Alrighty. So basically what it's saying is, if we go back to index.js, once it gets to the next line here and it sees langs, it doesn't like langs because now it's treating the file as a, um, whatever it said here a second ago, ES module instead of common JS. So what happens when you change it to index Dot cjs and then you run it of course that file doesn't exist anymore so you run it with cjs okay so now it's saying hey you can't use this inside blah blah so then if you change it from a cjs to I think an mjs and then you go over here and run it basically just going in circles it's like you it doesn't want you to use both import and require in the same file, but we have to use import apparently because of the way Frank is set up. So this is pretty silly. The, the fastest solution of course is just to use version five of Frank by the way, but if you wanna use the latest version, totally fine, I'm gonna show you how to solve it. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and go back, rename this back to index.js. There's that file. All right, so if it were me in the real world, I would say, Go search how to use import and require in same file JavaScript. Okay. And the first thing you see here is a Stack Overflow post. Here we go down. And someone says, I suggest you use import instead of require if you're already in an ESM module file since require only exists in CJS modules, not ESM modules. Here's code examples that work. So here's your import from read line. Blah, 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 running into blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is this person's solution. They're basically saying uh, just use both import in both places. That's not helpful to us. Doesn't really answer the question. Let's see if the solution is here. All right, so here's this uh, enabling the import export. You add type module, so we've done that, great. The other thing is you can also say the file is an MJS extension, so that's great too. Fine. So here hopefully is the solution here. Uh, this is the error that we've been experiencing. And this is interesting. So to use require in an ES module scope, you have to define it just two lines of code. So you import create require from module and then you create a function called require from create require import meta URL. <laughs> so We'll put this at the top of the file. So we're importing create require from module and then we're creating a variable called require from this create require uh, variable which is happens to be a function. 
and passing in import meta URL. Okay, so uh, my st stupid uh, linter or whatever just moves it to the next line. You can ignore that. So save the file, and now if we try to run this file, oh my god, it works. <laughs> okay, so adding these two lines of code is the solution. So starting from the very top, if you go back to the very beginning, this is the original code, package JSON. If you upgrade Frank to version 6 and you start getting this error, then you can either add type module in the package JSON or you can rename the index.js to index.mjs. That will allow modules. Okay. If you want to keep it as .js, then just make sure you put the type module on the bottom of your package JSON underneath your dependencies. Okay, so now inside of here, we want the newest syntax, which is just to add the curly brackets around Frank, and then instead of doing a require with the parens, we just say import, uh, sorry, it's import this syntax, and then you get rid of all that, and you say from, Frank. And of course you have to spell import correctly for that to work. All right, now that's great. Frank will get imported, but these requires are no longer gonna work unless we add those two lines of code. And that is import create require from module, which is uh, a built-in uh, package. And then require, create require, execute that function or invoke that function and pass in import.meta.url. This works its magic and creates the require that then allows us to pull the packages from uh, node modules and assign whatever they export to both lengths and colors. Well, lastly, you can run your code to test it out. Uh, this is a sentence in English. Let's try that. All right, our best guess is English. No kidding. And then. Um, Hola, como esta? I don't know if that'll work because I don't have all the. Ah, oh, sweet. It recognizes Spanish. Um, I don't know any other languages except for Cambodian, and it requires a different character system. So that's good. Uh, it works. That's the solution. Hopefully, we'll have a legit video so you don't have to go through all this uh, created in the near future. But in the meantime, hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, let us know in the Q&A and we'll help you out there. Thanks a lot and we'll see you in the next video.